about YouTube. All right, today we got a review video. So we're gonna be reviewing some spy optic sunglasses. I've never had a pair of spy optic sunglasses before. I've always been an Oakley person. And I've been happy with my Oakleys. Uh, on a whim though, I recently bought a pair of Bole Carry was the model. I got those at Sierra Trading Post. They are white frame, blue lens, I really like them. They seem like a nice quality glasses. They're real grippy, they stuck to my face. I liked them a lot. I liked them for the first 10 whole days that I had them. Wore them to Cedar Point, it rained a little bit, water got on the lenses, and I took them off of my face, and like the coating was coming off of them. I don't know what happened with it. And then I thought, well, maybe it's just a little bit of wet something. So I. Wiped it off with a microfiber cloth and all the coating came off of the lenses. They like crazed and they, they were ruined. And I don't know what the deal was. So I contacted the Bole customer service, I filed a warranty claim. They said definitely manufacturer's issue. They, I don't know why they didn't offer me a pair of Bole sunglasses, but they said I could go to the Spy Optic website. I could pick any pair of glasses that they sold on the Spy Optic website and I could get a new pair of glasses for a $20 processing fee. Since the Bolle ones, I got them for $29 at Sierra. It's not like I paid full price anyway. It was okay to me to pay another $20 for a processing fee. So I scoured through the Spy Optic website looking for different sunglasses that um, I think would match my particular style, my face shape, try to find something that, that I thought was fashionable and just a good pair of sunglasses. And I finally came upon the Scoop 2 is the one that I chose. And I chose it in the metallic chrome frame with the lenses are an HD plus gray green is what they consider it. I thought from the pictures, it was kind of a line of mm, retro plus modern look to it. Kind of a shape that I gravitate, gravitate towards and I like the color of them being a silver frame. That'd be cool. So they finally showed up. Wanted to do a quick review of them. I already wore them a little bit today while driving in the convertible and I'll tell you what, these lenses are phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to show you inside the packaging. So they come just like any other sunglasses in the world. Comes in a hardware box. It says Spy on it. Whatever. So you open it up. Just like every other pair of sunglasses, it comes in a protective microfiber bag. But it's got this little card that says HD Plus. Probably the best lens ever. I'll tell you what, I've always been an Oakley person. I love the clarity, the optics of the Oakley sunglasses. I think they're fantastic. Their lenses are phenomenal. I wore these today out in the convertible. These Oakley's got nothing on them. They're, I'd call them at least equal. The clarity in these, looking out to the outsides, uh, peripheral vision, you don't lose anything. There's no waviness, no nothing. Now they're not polarized. I don't like polarized glasses myself. I just, I don't care for it. So the lens quality on these spy optics being my first pair, it's fantastic. So I like the shape. They seem like a really robust, very strong. The frame is really meaty on these. It's got nice rubber grippers on the inside of the, the temples and then rubber grippers on the nose. I'm actually getting ready to go on a bike ride. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wear these on my bike ride and it's gonna be a hard bike ride, probably 25, 30 miles. I'll be wearing a helmet, sweating. So I'm curious to see how these do, if they fog up or anything. They do have these vents on the side, which I think are more cosmetic than anything, but it does channel air through and then it comes into the temple along the side of your head I doubt that it does anything more than cosmetic, but maybe it'll keep your lenses from fogging up. But it, so far, first impression on these, I am highly impressed with the optics. I mean, the, the optics on these lenses, they are just absolutely as clear as day. I mean, I would go so far as to say that these may be the best lenses that I've ever had in a pair of sunglasses. I like the color. This They consider it to be a gray green, uh, fine by me. I've got very, very sensitive eyes, blue eyes and you're never gonna see me outdoors without sunglasses on. Being bald, I'm always gonna be wearing a hat too. So the sunglasses to me though, they're of vital importance, always having a pair of sunglasses. I love the fit. They just, they give themselves kind of a retro look to them, but it's also a modern look with the, the scoops on them. And they seem really secure. They fit nice to the sides of my face. 
give you a profile shot of it. The thing I can't get over is the optics. I just love them. They are just clear, clear, clear. And I'll show you too how they fit. I'm a fan of uh, notch hats. Notch hats have this cutout on them for the sunglasses to tuck into. So they got two different styles. They got the ones where the notch is close back to the, the bucket part of the hat. Then they got another one that sits out a little bit further, like for an aviator pair of sunglasses. I've got both styles. This is the one where it's close back. So it fits really well with these. The, the notch fits up inside, or the sunglasses fit up inside the notch. So it really it holds the sunglasses onto your face if you were gonna be running or on a windy day out on a boat or something like that. So that's just nice to know too, what kind of notch hat these would fit with. Anyway, I really like the look. I love the lenses. I'm gonna go for a bike ride and see how they perform and then I'll report back in on how well they did. A nice, sweaty, warm bike ride, about 75 degrees out, I think. So I'll be working hard, sweating. See how these do, see how the grippy they are, see if the vents do anything, see if I can notice air coming in. That might be annoying. So I'm gonna go for a ride, but you know how All I right, I'm back. Just got done with my bike ride, did 24 miles. Good ride, sunglasses, rocked it. The rubber kept them in place, they didn't even move. The optics on these things are absolutely phenomenal. It was a gravel road ride, dust everywhere, dust in my breath, or in my throat. I'm sure I got dust on the lenses, I'm gonna rinse them off and wipe them down, but the optics on these are just unbelievable. For the sun, in the shadows, looking for potholes, looking for washboard while I'm out riding, I, I can't get over how good they are. Uh, the scoops on the sides, I don't know if they do anything for fogging. I didn't have any fogging issues. I didn't really feel any wind on the side of my face, maybe just a little bit, but I, I gotta tell you, um, having never had spy optic sunglasses before, been primarily an Oakley guy, um, I would highly recommend Spy based on these Scoop 2s. I, I really, really like these. I, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of them, and uh, I like them. I like the way they look, and these optics, phenomenal. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy our content. If you like it, please give us a like, comment, and mostly importantly, subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. Bye.